SwitchStation32 back for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a GameCube pickup, a few SNES games. Now, the way I got these is one of my really good friends is uh, looking to slim down his collection and uh, he gave me first shot at it. He gave me really good prices on them. Most of these games I only sold them to me for only 10 bucks. I really appreciate it. He gave me a good deal on these. So uh, let's get into the video. Now, first of all, we'll start off with the SNES games because there's uh, only picked up a few of them. Uh, the GameCube collection is what really, really, uh, it really helped my GameCube collection. I didn't really have that many GameCube games a couple of weeks ago. Now I have uh, quite a few get really good titles. So we'll start right off with the one that's not really worth that much. Monopoly. I picked this up because my fiance is a huge Monopoly fan and we're going to play some Monopoly on the Super NT. So yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll take Monopoly too, why not? Another really good one that's, that's uh, fun to play, Tetris and Dr. Mario. Really good game. I'm surprised how much this one was worth. This is going for about 30 bucks here in Canada. So that's a really good deal for the price that he let, he let me have it for. And then this one, I'm really happy to have it in my collection. I've wanted it for a long time. It just sucks that their label is ripped off of it, but I still have it to play on a real SNES cartridge. So... If I ever find it with a better label and I can get a good price on it, I'll get it, but I'm not paying full price and I already have the game. Secret of Mana, just with no label. Label's ripped off, but I'm still really happy to have this in my collection. This is a really good game. Every collector wants this game. It just sucks that it don't have the, the label, but oh well. And back label's ripped off too. But I'm really, really stoked to put this in the collection. And then the gem of the Super Nintendo games, the one I really wanted because I knew he had it and I knew he was going to probably let it go. Just as soon as he told me about he was selling his games and he was uh, going to give me first crack at it. The first game I asked about, Super Metroid. Really happy to have this in my collection. Especially for getting it at a really good price. Really good game to put in your collection. Anybody that has Super Nintendo, I know this is one of the games they're looking for. So, let's get into it. Lord of the Rings. No manual in this one, but that's okay. There's the back. Both discs. He took care of his stuff, so there's no scratches or anything on any of these discs. Beautiful Joe, Red Hot Rumble. With the manual. Soul Calibur 2, one of the best fighting games you can buy. And the best part about this one is it has Link in it. You can fight with Link in a Soul Calibur game. That's really cool. Alright, Ninja. Never played this game, never heard of it. I'm going to try it out, see if it's any good. There's the back. And it comes with the manual. Now, F-Zero. I was really surprised how much this game was worth when I put it in the price chart. And this game sells for about 80 bucks. I was uh, quite surprised about that. GameCube's really hot right now, though. And it is complete. And the, the game I really wanted to play, because I never got a chance to play this, Luigi's Mansion. So really happy to put this in. There's no manual in this, but I think I do have a manual, so I will have this complete. Extreme Racing. Comes with the manual. And another game I never played, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Anybody who knows anything about any of these games, leave it in the comments. I'd love to read your guys' comments. Try to get back to everybody. Another good one, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. And it is complete, comes with a manual. And another cheap one, I find every time uh, I find a GameCube bundle, it has a 007 game with it. And it is complete. Vex, another game I never heard of. But it looks like a pretty good game. Another complete one. I'm a big Rampage game, I love Rampage, so I was really happy to put this in the collection. Rampage is a fun, fun game. And it comes with a manual. The last two games, I'm trying to complete the Zelda collection. I like to get all the Zelda games. So he had two Zelda games, and I picked them both up, and I'm really happy about it. I don't really collect for Wii too much, just the certain games that I want. But I'm really happy to pick this up. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. A lot of people say this is one of their favorite Zelda games of all time. I never actually played this because I wasn't a big Wii fan back in the day. But I'm definitely going to hook this up to the Wii U and try to and try to beat this. There's the back. And it is complete too. And this is about a $30 game here in Canada. And the best one of the whole haul 
And I'm really happy to have this in my collection. This is a hard game to come by at a decent price. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Here's the back. Comes with the manual. Now this game is it goes for about $140 to $150 here in Canada. That's what it is on price chart. And you can sell this for $120 easily. So for everybody to hook me up and give me a really good deal on this was uh, really nice of them. And uh, I'm really happy to have this in my collection. So... Saying that, that'll be Switch Station 32 back for another video. If you liked it, leave a like and a subscribe. It really helps the channel grow.